And uh, thank you for your testimony this morning. I appreciate it. Um, I want to talk about Lake Okeechobee also and uh, the Everglades, everything that's going on down uh, south of Lake Okeechobee and north of Lake Okeechobee as well. Uh, General Jackson, you noted already in your comments uh, just how important it is to get uh, all of the preparatory work done in these projects. You just said that. I couldn't agree more. And, and General Seminite, you just uh, said in your remarks, it's important to keep water flowing south and that a lot of water has already flowed east and west. I'm out the, uh, the east coast of that where all that water flows. And you also said that if there are ways to take money from the states to complete these projects, you're certainly most receptive to that. The, the federal government doesn't have all the money to do that. So I wanted to, to ask you a little bit about that. You know, uh, Congress has already approved uh, a reservoir uh, south of Lake Okeechobee as part of that integrated delivery schedule. Uh, the state of Florida has authorized and committed to matching funds to expedite the, the Everglades Agricultural Area Southern Storage Reservoir. Um, and the South Florida Water Management District has said that they've reached out to the Corps, uh, saying that the Corps is the appropriate partner uh, for expediting this project. So I just wanted to ask a few questions on that. Uh, what do you think is the earliest completion date we can get that Southern Reservoir done? And Congressman, I think you're talking about a new reservoir that's not already in SERP. Is that understood? It's uh, one that was originally authorized as part of the integrated delivery schedule. Okay, I I'm with you now. So um, there, are, there are three that we're looking at. C-44 is the one that we call Indian River Lagoon. That one has been funded uh, both in uh, 18 and 17 in that work plan. Uh, I'll get you an exact date on that one, but we don't see any significant issue on that. The two you're probably worried about Specifically, are, not to interrupt you, but the, the one that's referenced in the state of Florida as Senate Bill 10, that's if, you, if you're familiar with it as that one we're talking about, SB 10 in the state of Florida, that southern storage reservoir uh, just south of Lake Okeechobee. That's what I'm referencing here. And, sir, I'm going to have to get back. I got C-23 and C-24. I don't have a good read on SP-10. But let, let me come in. We'll lay this out for you and, to, and answer all your questions. This is a very, very complicated, you know, problem you're aware of, but I want to make sure that we're giving you the right answer on this. Ed, do you have SP-10? You tracking? No, sir. We'll, we'll follow up with your staff and give you a complete lay down on it. I know you all noted how much work you'd done in the state of Florida, so it's been probably one of the biggest issues that's gone on in the, the state house and the state senate in Florida, this SB 10 that's, that's been going on there. I can't imagine how... There, there is some Florida. proposals that we're hearing about that the state does want to do some things, and we want to make sure that those are uh, integrated back into the other existing Everglades projects. And this is where we want to make sure that South Florida Water Management District and the rest of it, I think that's where some of the issues might be. It's not a current core project right now. We want to figure out how we can work together with you, uh, whether we should or should not do it. I think that's what we're, we're, we're working through. Uh, what benefit would it be to have authorization to begin uh, uh, these feasibility studies sooner rather than later? Uh, how many years can you knock off uh, if you get these, these studies done sooner rather than later? Can you expedite these processes by starting the studies sooner? Sir, so I think uh, without looking at the integrated delivery schedule, I think the sooner we can start studies, assuming that all the preparation, all the preparatory work that's in sequence has to be done in sequence before that um, can be done. I mean, we, we should be able to, to move out faster on it. Um, I would need to look at each individual study and each individual project line to figure out where we can buy additional time and what uh, additional resources might be required in order to do that. But certainly, uh, South Florida Water Management District and the state of Florida have been tremendous partners with us uh, through the whole life cycle of this project. And, and so, you know, I welcome any continued discussions to see how we can move faster on this. I want to shift gears. Same subject, uh, a little bit different piece of the conversation at the moment here. Uh, the Corps, last summer, uh, the Corps of Engineers transferring, uh, you know, over a, a, you know, a million gallons of water a minute in some cases from Lake Okeechobee uh, into the, the waters east and west of Lake Okeechobee. Uh, and oftentimes there have been massive algal blooms that were literally being transferred from one of those bodies to a body of water that didn't have those algal blooms in them. Uh, so I want to ask about that. When, when the Corps is transferring debris or toxins or pollutants from one body of water to another body of water that otherwise wouldn't be affected by them, who do you think should pay to clean that up? Sir, I'll jump in here uh, for starters. Um, relative to the nationwide issue, not, alone, not only in the state of Florida, 
it's the state's responsibilities to ensure the quality of, of, of the waters. Now, I understand wh what you're saying relative to runoff into uh, Lake Okeechobee and the distribution canals, if you will, from... Not the runoff. The core taking an algal bloom from Lake Okeechobee and moving it into a completely separate river to the east and west of Lake Okeechobee, not those, runoff. Those al algal blooms, sir, generally are as a result of the pollutants coming into the system. I think it would be a concerted effort relative to the federal government looking at what the states are doing, the counties and municipalities, relative to their wastewater treatment and what is being dumped into the water body that ultimately comes into Lake Okeechobee and then is therefore distributed during flood uh, reduction needs you know, out of Lake Okeechobee. Your point is well taken. There needs to be a holistic view on that. But generally speaking, it's the states and the municipalities that are responsible for the quality of their waters. My time has expired. Thank you for your comments.